Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to this brand new Game Maker tutorial. Today we're talking a bit about global variables and why you'd want to use them. So first off, let's talk about a basic variable. So a basic variable would be something like, uh, let's say HP is equal to 100. So of course that's health points or hit points depending on your view. Uh, so HP is equal to 100. This is a basic integer. This is an integer. And basically, we can use this integer anywhere in our object. We can use it in any event. We've created it in the create event, so we can use it in the step event, in alarms, and all that good stuff. But we can only use it in our object. So let's, let's just say this is the player object. We can only use HP in our player object. So you can also do it with uh, money is equal to five. And we can only use money in that object. But what happens if we want a variable that we can use all over the place? Because maybe you have one object that you use to draw all the stats, but you want to be able to change those stats in the player object or in the enemy object. So you may want to use variables in multiple different objects and it can make your code a lot better if you do that. So to do that, we're gonna use something called global variables. Now you can make a global variable two ways. And the first way is to just add global dot onto the front of your name. So now in any object, if you write your variable as global dot HP, that is going to you know, say, okay, we're going to use the global version of HP. So a global variable is basically a variable that can be used in any object. So if we went into our enemy and we wanted to say global.hp minus equals one, what that's going to do is subtract one HP from our player, because of course that is where we have defined the variable. Um, so that's one way to do it, and it's a nice way to do it, but it's a little longer. We have this global dot, you know, you might not always want to type it that way. So there's a bit of a nicer way. It's a little bit of a longer way. What we can also say is we could say global var money. And then below it, we're going to put money is equal to five. Now, what this is going to do is this does the exact same thing as this global dot HP. All it means is that you don't have to put global dot onto the front of it every single time. But here's a quick thing. You can't actually do global var money is equal to five. Uh, you can't do that for some reason. I can't remember why. But so you have to do it on two lines, which is a bit unfortunate, but it can help you in the long run, in the long run. So as you can see here, I've got global.hp is equal to 100. Now if I hit check, I'm gonna call this obj underscore player. I'm gonna change the sprite to a player sprite that you might've seen in my last video. Uh, if you watched that one, the top five sprite editor tips. I'm gonna create a new object and I'm gonna add a step event. And what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say global dot HP minus equals one. So this is going to subtract one from our HP. Now we have not declared HP in this object anywhere. I'm just going to put OBJ underscore test. We have not declared a global dot HP anywhere in this object, but we have done it in this one. So as you can see, because I used the global dot inside this object, uh, it's going to still subtract from that same variable. So if I create a new room, create a new room really quick here for you guys. That's that tab button again. Got to figure out why it does that. And I add my OBJ test into the room. Let's also add a draw event just so we can see the variable. I'm just going to put draw underscore text x, y, what was the variable called? Global.hp. So this is going to allow us to see the global.hp. Now, if we run it, you're going to see that we're still able to change it. We're still able to do stuff to it, move it around and all that good stuff. Here we go, any moment now, it's gonna boot up, boot up, boot up. There we go, and as you can see, it is going down, which is exactly what we want. Uh, it's going down a lot, as you can see. Um, but the whole point of it is, is that we made the variable in the OBJ player, and we can move it, and we can use it in any object. We can do the exact same thing if we go to the step event. We can say money plus equals one, and we can go to the draw event, and we can say money. And what you'll be able to see if I play it is that our money is going to go up quite a bit. Any moment now, you will see it in just a second, trust me. Our money is going up a lot. So remember the significant thing is that these variables can be used in any object. Uh, we have the two different ways you can do it, whichever way you most prefer. Uh, I most of the time like to use the second one, but then again, some of you might not. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, you need some help, let me know. 
and it's been a pleasure talking to you guys. So I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you when I see you. Happy devving.